When I first met this woman, I saw Rose and I latched on to her. I told her, baby, I don't want to marry. I just want to be your man. <laughs> Rose told me. I told him if he wasn't a mankind and move out the way so the mankind could find me. <laughs> That's what she told me. <laughs> you're in my way, you're blocking the view, move out the way so I can find me a husband. <laughs> So this movie must have impacted you personally to want to take on the directing of it. Um, what, what was it that you really loved about it? I did the, when I read the screenplay seven years ago, I realized I hadn't read the play. So I'd seen it 30 years ago. So I read the play and I called Scott Rudin, the producer, my producing partner, and I said, I want to do the play. He said, you want to do the play? I said, yeah. So we did the play. It's great success, multiple nominations. We won everything you can win and all of that. Then I said, okay, I can do this play, you know, and obviously Viola Davis could do it, and, and all the actors are wonderful. Then I felt a bit more comfortable with, well, can I interpret this for film? And that was a three-year process. So it wasn't like they handed me a script and I shot it. Yeah, it was a totally different process because right. you had, you guys were doing a, over 100 right. renditions of it, right? And that's what informed me, that's what made me know okay, it would have been impossible to direct and act in this had I not done the play. Yeah. Just to remember all of that and to try to figure out who Troy is. It's too complicated. You can't, it's, it's not a, you just can't, you can't just improvise. It's like Shakespeare. You just can't improvise it and owe anything. You can't just say anything. You got to know the words. Do you think Troy, the character, ever has a point where he realizes what he's done and kind of needs to... He, Ask for forgiveness. He doesn't know how. Mm -hmm. That one shot when she walks out with the little one, he, he's, he's, and he's still trying to be a man. You know, he's, he doesn't know he's lost. Yeah. You know, when you find out what happened to him as a child, then you understand his, his, his misguided energy. What happened to him as a child and then what happened to him as an adult, he then takes out on his family. Do you think the faith of Viola's character kind of is what holds the family together? Absolutely. Yeah. I, that's why I use the take when she says something, well, God's the one, and he goes, mm, like, he yeah. doesn't want to hear it. He's a man that not want to hear about God. He thinks he can handle the devil and control death. Yeah. He had lessons he needed to learn. Yeah, and her faith, does it remind you, you know, I was reading about your father as a minister. Does mm -hmm. that remind you of your, your father's faith, or is it a part of something a part of you well the, the, it, it's a spiritual journey mm -hmm. that that even Troy takes he just don't know it yeah I call it from hell to hallelujah because he's early on he's oh hell it's all hell all hell and one of the last things he says is hallelujah and then he's I won't say what he is but you know what I mean yeah. then, it's, then it's over that's a great point I loved you know we don't want to talk about it but the ending was beautiful. I thought you I know, and then he you knew that's the way that go. Yeah. And then the little girl turns around and says, I'm going with it. You know, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that to me represents the future. I, I didn't know she was going to, I mean, I didn't know she was going to do it because we asked her to, but that represents her spirit. She feels something that her uncle Gabe was able to do, mm -hmm. that miracle. Lions ain't ready yet. Corey and his mom can't believe it. But she turns around and follows him. Aww. You know, she, like, I need to learn from Uncle Gabe. And Uncle Gabe's almost prophetic in what he says with the gates of heaven. Exactly. Actually, August Wilson wrote in the gates of heaven open like God's closet. I'm like, okay, how the heck do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. And now, see, because in the play, you never see what's up there. Yeah. In the play, it's just you can do it with light and sound. Mm -hmm. So we still, it's like Jaws. You don't want to see the, 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 the shark too much. It's how they react to it. That's the magic. What are you going to do? Some people build fences to keep people out, and other people build fences to keep people in.